Hello there and welcome back. Today I want to talk about this setup I put together and uh, I'm practicing a lot with. I just implemented the Torso S4 and after last week uh, a lot of questions come in about how you can use this in a live performance setup. So we will talk about this a little, but I wanted really to go back to the origin of my music where I was using mostly the uh, 303, in this case is the Avalon, which is a clone on steroid, uh, a drum machine, uh, the Octatrack back in the day, and a lot of effects. And if you know me, you know how I love using mixer. I think mixer are a music instrument. So, before going on and explain what's happening here, a few ways you can support my page. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, that is completely free. You can buy from the affiliate link down below. Uh, you pay exactly the same, I get a tiny percentage, no matter what you buy. And finally, you can become a Patreon. On Patreon, I reply to all of your questions privately. I also do one-on-one -on -one, and there's by now few hundreds of exclusive video, uh, tracks from scratch, full project, samples, a lot, lot of stuff. That said, let's go back. Why I am doing these? I love creating setup. There's so many videos of my setup, but mostly I keep using always the same thing. When I can travel with the mixer, in this case, my Model 1, which is my favorite mixer for this kind of stuff, I usually like to have it because it allows me to have a very clean interface and easy way to play, especially with the reverb and the delay. I love using the delay in a dub fashion, feeding back to itself. I did many videos about that. And this mixer allow me to play easily with that. Plus, each channel has filtering and a master filter and a master EQ. So I think for live performances, it's amazing. So this is the main hub. Everything goes through it. And we have just three instruments. One is the uh, Rhythm. Could have been the Octatrack. But since I have the S4, I'm trying now to use the S4 for sample, sample mangling, and this machine for the rhythm. So that, and we have it here. As you can see, with this mixer, it's so easy to, for example, just have the bass or the high end. I like to go out the rhythm as a stereo because I enjoy to use the internal processing of analog rhythm, its own compressor, its own distortion, it sounds really good. If I go with different separate track, it never sounds as good. On channel two, I have my trusty Avalon, where it's falling apart lately, so I'm waiting eagerly the new one that I ordered two years ago, but it's not arriving, so let's pray. Uh, and then on track four, I have the S4. Now I'm, I have actually four tracks going on. I have this that is a sample, 
This other one is a sample that I all recorded using this. And then I have these two tracks that are listening to QB, which I can send whenever I want. For example, now nothing's happening because I can, I, I'm not sending anything, but I can send also the drum and this is created or the 303. And this is cool because means that Whatever I have going on here, the S4 is listening and creating on the fly something that goes well with what's happening. Super useful. I can load the sample whenever I want. I can go here, load and change instantly. So it's very good for transition. This is something I create using automating and modulation, which sounds pretty cool. Then I have these two tracks empty. Track six is the return of the Penny Dub. I think the Penny Dub is the most convenient and best sounding digital echo available. For dub purposes, especially if you want a portable solution, there's nothing better. I tried them all, but this one, Sounds so good. And I can ride it as much as I want. What happens is like with send two, I send any, any sound and then riding the fader, I can keep it alive as much as I want. On Send one, I have the Eventide space. And I really love the Eventide space because there's this patch called Corridors, which to me sounds incredible. Beautiful. Super fun. And then what I added, I go out from the uh, model one into the phase from Penny Dub. This adds me another layer of modulation, which for this kind of music I think is super, super cool. And I can deactivate whenever I want, but you know, add something. The last step of the chain is going inside the analog it effects. Plus, I love this tool. So I have a simple mastering chain. It's a delay, the hit part, a bass module that keep everything tighter, and then a compressor. Without sounds like this, and with it's like that. I like to have another filter, even though I have it in the mixer, but you know, I cannot actually use it as a band pass. There's many use. Then I have another low high uh, EQ if I want, but really I'm mean, enjoying the enhance uh, heat circuit because it's it's very had a lot of crunchiness and I think it's super nice with this music whatever like if we change let's let's pick another I just put some modulation to that. So doing this kind of dark organic music, I feel it adds so much. Of course, it pushed the volume, but it's fine. Then I can bring it. The Benny Dub doesn't have a um, top tempo, so that's something you need to 
No, and uh, you can beat quantize. Now I know this is 140, I go to 70. But another thing I like to do with the bend it up is remove the big quantize and then loop. And then I have a loop that I can use as a tape machine. This is a technique that uh, Ricciotti used to use a lot. Which is pretty cool for transition, if you're brave enough. what you were doing. Super cool. It's so, this setup allow me to move very fast into different situation and I can also uh, use the live looping system here and I will show you next week uh, and loop, quantize it on the tempo, loop everything here, and then maybe change something and bring another um, pattern coming. When I want, I deactivate the loop, and I can go back into regular delay. Deactivate. And that's it. I wanted to just uh, quickly show you how uh, things are getting uh, to work together. And I feel this is, at this point, what will trigger all the sample that I want and mangle and fill all the gaps. Because if you go out and you play with just this, you need something else. And like, this already had a lot, but then it's all a matter of tuning in the right effects. So here it's another dimension for me. Love it. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next week.